Alright, today what I'd like to show you is how to make some icons for your leaflet maps. Now, I'm going to use Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Photoshop, however you could also use um, free software such as GIMP, G-I-M-P, which is a, a Photoshop substitute, and also Inkscape, which I think is free, at least if not it's affordable, uh, which is a fairly decent illustrator um, replacement. And predominantly I'll be using uh, Adobe Photoshop today, but my main goal is to just show you how to quickly create your own icons because the tutorials online for Leaflet show you how to embed your, your icons, etc., but how do you actually go about making them? And if you have any experience with Illustrator or Photoshop, this will be pretty easy. If not, you might have to fine-tune your artistic skills a bit, but again, it's not that difficult. So uh, I'm going to start here in Adobe Illustrator. And uh, one thing you want to do is, is you gen well, you gotta create a new file, unless you have a file you want to steal something from already. And I'm going to create an icon called House. And generally you want your icons to be, it's nice to design your icons to be a certain size so they don't look all scrunched. And generally you don't have too much space to work with. 24 by 24 is a nice size for most maps, particularly point icons. I'm going to work a little bit bigger today so we don't get too scrunched. I'm going to work 36 by 36 pixels. For those of you new to Illustrator that might be using it for the first time, here is where you can choose which units you want your um, measurements to be in. But 0.5 inches by 0.5 inches or 36 by 36 pixels. Also change uh, the color mode down here to RGB. And uh, we don't want the, these don't need to be super high um, resolution and, and actually this is a vector software so that doesn't really matter. So here we go, we've got a 36 by 36 pixel artboard. This artboard looks pretty big right now. Uh, don't let that deceive you though, it's very, very small. If I take the pen tool here with a one point width and draw a line, you'll see how, just how much space that takes up. Alright, so uh, first step I guess is depends depending on what you want to draw. You could draw a, a neat line around your shape, etc. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to draw a very simple house today and uh, you can laugh at my artistic skills on your own time. Let's see. So I'll draw a little rectangle down here and let's resize that to take up a little more space and then I will draw a nice little roof Try to go more over here, and we'll just do that. Horrific artwork, I understand. Go up here and give them a little softer edging here. And voila, we've got a little house. I guess I'd also like a chimney on this house, so I'll do that. Call me classical. All right, so let's, uh, let's color this up a little bit with some, I don't know, bricks are red, right? So we'll give that red and maybe um, a red outline. We'll give the roof, shingles are normally black or brown, right? But we'll, give, we'll make these uh, cedar shingles just for the heck of it. And then our house, what color house do we want? Well, well my daughter's a big fan of pink. We'll give her the pink house she's always dreamt of. All right, so there we go. No one said it didn't clash, but that's fine. So I'm going to select everything here, Control A or Command A, and I'm just going to gently, well, resize it to fit in the bounds here nicely. Well, fairly nicely. And we should be pretty good. All right, let's make our roof a little steeper. What the hey? It's a little too steep, but less chance of ice dams. Okay. All right, so we have a house here. I think this is a gorgeous house. I'd, I'd love to live in it myself, but that's not the point today. So what we're going to do, the next step is to actually save this as a PNG for the web. Now, Adobe products tend to have some um, great features for saving to the web, where you can just tell it, I want to save this for the web. Please help me out, and it does so. We'll give this, we'll give it a, should we give it a red door, which will clash again, but no, we shouldn't do that. Let's do 
some silly colored door. Okay, there we go. We've got a nice blue door for this house. So to do that, what you want to do is go to File, Save for the Web, or Control Shift Alt S, or Command Shift Alt S, which is what I'll do typically, but for you, I'll save for web. And then uh, what we get here are a couple options. So this is how big our icon will be at 100%, so on someone's screen. Now, when you save for the web, what you can do is you can compare the original size, 5.06 kilobytes to sizes uh, designed for the web. You can pick, uh, you know, JPEG, PNGs, etc. Now, here's the big difference. JPEGs don't allow you to have a transparent background. What that means is the whole background will be a fill color and you won't be able to see through it. So all this um, area on the, the artboard behind the house will be white in this case. PNGs allow it to be a transparent background, which means just the house will show up on your map and anything that's not the house, the background, will you'll be able to see the map underneath. So we want PNG here. We're going to uh, hit this transparency is very important, otherwise, as you can see here, it turns white. So make sure that's selected. And let's hit save. And I, in my assets folder on my website, I have an icons folder. We'll call this house. And save. All right. So that's how you make an icon. And another feature of Leaflet is that you can create shadows. I like to use Photoshop for this, and so what I'm going to do is open Photoshop right now, and we'll open our PNG file, the house PNG file, in Photoshop. There it is. And it's quite small, so we'll zoom in. All right, very nice. Um, hey, what's going on here? So, to make a shadow, it's pretty easy. I'm going to hit File, Save As and we want to create a new PNG file and I just tend to add in camel case shadow to the end of the original icons name and we can go up here to filter I think I don't know what's going on okay so we'll go to filter One second, my Photoshop is acting very insane right now. So, I will hit pause and be right back. Okay, I'm very, very frustrated with Camtasia. All right, well, thank you for bearing with me here because, I don't know, Camtasia is the software I use and it drives me nuts sometimes, particularly on the Mac. It kind of sucks. All right, back to my uh, main point here. Uh, basically, so what we're going to do is we're going to open the house in, Power, uh, in Adobe Photoshop, and then we're going to save it with the house shadow name. And then what we want to do is go up here to Image, Adjustments, mode those are the two things we'll be using hit grayscale so because shadows generally are of course in grayscale and then we can go to adjustments we can go to levels and we can play with these a bit i don't want it to be too dark i don't want it to be too light and we can kind of fudge around with these a bit and try to i want it to be a little bit darker and not so light play with these levels until it's all pretty solid. All right, we'll hit OK here. And we've got this neat little housey thing. And now, of course, it's still pretty pixelated, not exactly attractive. We'll go up to Filter, Blur, and click on this one. I can't pronounce it. Ga Gaussian, I should know that. Sorry, I'm not perfect. All right, and we can choose a blur radius. This way we get a little bit of the shape of the house here. We don't want too much. And we'll change the opacity up to maybe 70%. So what that means is you'll be able to see about, well, 65% here. 35% of what's behind this will show through it. All right, so we'll go and we'll hit File, 
save. It's already a very small PNG, so we don't have to do save for web. And uh, we'll hit save. Uh, no, I guess we do have to go to PNG here. I guess we should just save it for the web. Turkeys. So we'll go to file save for web, and we'll choose PNG 8 with the transparent background, and Well, let's just do that. All right, fine. And then we will, we can always set transparency in leaflet. We'll hit save. Let's be done with this. House shadow, save, replace. All right. So now what we have are two icons. Well, really one icon, one's a shadow. Here's the house, and here's the shadow. Now you could scrunch this a bit. You, you probably, if you wanted to scrunch it in Photoshop, you certainly could. So you could select this and, and make it scrunchier, like a shadow might be. That's um, totally your prerogative. For this, um, though, I'm just going to leave it as is. Okay, I'll hit save for web one more time. And we'll do that, save, and I'll just write, overwrite it. Okay, so there you go. We've got two icons. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to uh, embed these in, in Dreamweaver with the Leaflet API. Thanks again for bearing with me.